Jackson, 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 Jackson needs to go like that. And I was like, you know what? Wait, what's going on today? Like. Hi, I'm Indiera. I'm Sierra. And welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. If this is your first time seeing us, subscribe, like, and comment. Let's, Let's roll. roll. So today's topic is exposing rude, rude celebrities and, and also praising humble celebrities. Thank okay? you. You got to balance out the pros and the cons now. So, who would you like to start with first? Uh, none other than Beyonce. Beyonce! Yes, yes, yes! Okay, so in 2013, it was at her Mrs. Carter show tour. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we, you know, we was in the, um, the Beehive Pit, which is, like, literally, like, right on the stage. Yes. And, um... We're gonna put a video in there for y'all. That was the best day ever. <laughs> she was so sweet. First of all, can we? <clears throat> she gave me three hugs while she was performing. It's like there. She's so sweet. She came down. You know, she walked down and she gave me a hug three times. <laughs> Like, there was this point where she, like, looked, she was looking at, I guess she recognized we were twins. And so she was, like, while she was singing, she was like, oh, hey. <laughs> and she was standing there, like, oh, my God, these are twins. She was so sweet, like, and, and there's, like, two sections of the stage, and she would always come to our side. And because he was hyped, that's why. Like, here with it, like, hype. Like, it was, uh, Beyonce's oh, right hey, here, hey, and she's hey, hey. performing for me. Yeah. Like, so, um, me and Beyonce was the best. I feel like that was the best. She is so sweet, and, I, and she has a humble heart, and I was like, thank you, because, you know, some people are rude, and she was just, she was just so nice, so. Yeah. Love so, you, B. That's the, um... That's the humble. We started with the positive, all yeah. right? We got to. Now, uh, with the rudeness, his name, oh my gosh. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Now, he might have been having a bad day, but this is what happened. So, we were at a Clippers game, and... This when the Clippers were good. Right, this when they were good. My bad. Long time ago. This is actually, when he had a, man, he had like a Disney movie that came out. It was called like I forgot. Oh, Bridge to Terrific. Is that it? No, it was the Race to okay. Rock Mountain. Right. Something like that. But it was around that time when that video came out. Yeah. That movie came out. And so we were at Clippers game, of, you know, of course, you know, so we ran into him. It was like right on the floor. And we were down there like saying hi to the players. And, and it was it was actually a group of us, so I mean Yeah, it was like a group of us. We weren't by ourselves. Right. And so we were talking to, like, DeAndre Jordan or somebody. And we were like, hey, what's up? Like, oh, my gosh, how'd you get so tall and stuff? <laughs> and then um, he was walking by. And then we were like, oh, my gosh. Hi, oh it's the Brock. It's the Brock. It's the Brock. And, of course, he had his little foreign little model on him. She probably from, I don't know where she's from. She looked, like, foreign. And, of course, she had her heels on and everything. She was right up on him. He was like, the Rock, the Rock, the Rock. He, he literally, he literally just, like, looked. This nigga, like, he was just, like. And just kept walking. No, but it was really like... It was like a smirk like... First of all... And we was like, dude, you just came out with a Disney movie. And we, we had to been about like 13. Yeah, we were like... Yeah. I'm like, you just came out with a Disney movie and you gonna give us a smirk. And we're like, The Rock, oh my gosh, I love your movie. We were like, like, actually, we were like 11 or 12. We were actually really young. Yeah, and I remember there was this like lady, the older lady. She was like an older white lady. She was like, did he just walk past you guys? And we were like, yeah, like we just caught him. And she was like, that's very rude of him. I I'm like, thank you. Even she recognized that that was rude of him just to walk past us. Like, he didn't even acknowledge us. And we were like, trying to say hi. He just looked at us and kept walking. We so, we met Chris Brown. Um, he came to our, um, we went to, like, this Boys and Girls Club. And he came, and we were just shooting around with him. And he was actually really nice. I think it was called, like, I Hoops or something. I Hoops. It was like, some type of, like, basketball thing. Yeah. But um, he was really sweet. Oh, my gosh. He smelled so good. He smelled like, um, was it Gain or, like, Tide? I just remember smelling gain or tall like he sure was freshly washed he was really nice of course i just remember thinking he looked so pale yeah i was like whoa like you're white <laughs> that's the first thing i remember yeah because like if you watch music videos he looks fairly light like a light brown but in person he's so pale so like pale. he get no sun right. so and th mind you this was when like fame came out the album that's when that came out so yeah a lot of these are a lot of these birds are from the past um 
You've never met Stevie J. You've never met Stevie J. Oh, we met Stevie. Well, we didn't meet. He kind of just like what we did. It was like a brief meeting with Stevie J at um, BET Experience twenty sixteen summer twenty sixteen summer, and um, y'all know Stevie J. Like he's really flirty, and so we were walking by. You know, he just did the damn thing, and I was just like. This nigga got a, like, he got a female. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, no. You know, I watched the show. I'm just like, oh God, like, no. And so that was just, that was the Stevie meeting. And we just, we took a picture. Do you have the picture? I don't have the picture. But we but, but we all took pictures. I just don't remember when that picture is at all. I think I did it. I'm taking it back to the Clipper game, okay? The next person that was rude was Raven's dad and that's a Raven. I don't even know his real name. See, I don't even know. He was Dad Baxter. Okay? Y'all know what we're talking about. Yeah, from Nassau Raven. Bald headed dude. Oh my gosh, he was so rude. Oh my gosh. I just feel like when you ever work, like work in Disney or you work in something that you know children are going to come up to you, you, you cannot be rude to them. So it was just a back in the Clippers game. The same day we had the bad response with The Rock. Same day, it was with him, Baxter dude. We were actually like, I think we just like got some food. So we were like going down a little tunnel to walk down to the uh, stadium or whatever. And we passed him. He was so rude. I just remember like trying to tap him on his jacket, and he and he did like this thing, this nigga, like, not like that, yeah. like so where his jacket like snatched out of my hand. I was literally just like touching him. I was like, hi, like you know, that's why it was my show. I was like, hi, like, oh my gosh, like, you're on the show. And I was little, like I love seeing people like that, you know. Mm-hmm. I used to watch the show every day, and he like literally just like snatched he his jacket. Asked me to go like that, and I was like, you know what? Wait, wait, what's going on what? today? Like. Well, y'all are so rude. And at the time, yeah, we were like 11 years old. Like, come on. Like, I can understand if I was a grown woman or something. Like, leave me alone, grown woman. No, even if I was grown, you still don't have to do that. But thing. still, I'm saying, as a kid, though, that's for sure a no no. Like, you're that's a child. Like, you know, you're if you know you're on Disney, obviously, that's where the child knows you from. So just like, oh, hi, or nice to meet you. Bye. I have to go. Like, you could say something nice. Yeah. First impressions mean a lot. Of course, another nice experience was with Carrie Washington. Carrie Washington. Yeah, we actually met her at this production we were in. It was called The Hot Chocolate Nutcracker. She was there at the show, and we met her, I think, during, like, was it, like, one of the rehearsals, or was it, was it an actual show? I think it was, it was a rehearsal. Okay, yeah. But she was she came, she was there, and she was so sweet. Or was it before the show? I think it was before the okay, show. Yeah, she was in the audience. Show. You're right, you're right. She was so nice. She was so sweet. It was, like, a group of kids around to her, and she was just... So nice. She could have been like, I gotta go. But no, she was so She sweet. stood there. She talked to everyone. She took pictures with some people, but uh-huh. we couldn't get a picture because, you know, she had to go. We wasn't. We weren't going to hold her. Mm-hmm. Um, that was another nice experience. I mean, it's not too much detail to go into because we had a show, so we literally saw her and we went backstage. And... But I, but that same day, we also met Raven Simone. I forgot about that. We met oh, Raven yeah. Simone that same day. And she was really, because she was in the show. She was in the Hot Chocolate Nutcracker with us. Yeah. So, you know, we saw her at all the rehearsals, but obviously when you're rehearsing, you're not going to stop somebody to say, like, what's up? Like, you know, you're rehearsing to get your lines down, to get your movements down. Raven so. was real cool. She was so sweet. She was real She was cool. also pale like Chris Brown. Yeah, she was she like, was, I was like, whoa, you know, in the show, she was brown. I was like, you must have been tanning because um, I was like, you were so, you're so pale. Like, it's not even light skin. It's like white. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was like, what? So, yeah, but she was, she, she was, was really sweet. She was kind, kind soul. Mm-hmm. So I guess that was our experience with Rude and Humble, even so. and even though we haven't really had any negative experiences like within the past three four years we actually haven't but I remember man like when we was younger man we stayed getting some weird experiences with celebrities but bad day or not I just feel like even if I was a celeb I would always be humble like Zendaya I'm like I never hear a bad story about her or Beyonce but yeah just remain humble you gotta stay like that yep first impressions mean a lot yes. So, I mean, that was our exposing route and talking about the humble celebrities. Let us know. Maybe, have you? did you meet these people? Good? Was it bad? Let us know. Yeah, so, like, comment, subscribe. Hope you liked the video. <laughs>